I run a small resort called Inlay Princess in the eastern part of the country. I also do some conservation and preservation of tangible and intangible heritage. Lately, our latest project is about a vocational training center for the youth of Inlay Lake in hospitality. Um, I have to make you cry. That's what Sanji do, told me. <laughs> no, actually, um, I have. S I don't know what really to share because I don't feel like very. My story is very particularly interesting. However, um, I know that Burma is under the spotlight nowadays because we have been, you know shut down from the rest of the world for more than five decades. So we are interesting creatures um, for the moment. Um, so the simple story, I don't know. I think um, in my journeys, um, hard time I, I, had, I had some. Compared to others, um, not much. But um, I think it's, we're going to start with education. I would like to share you that I have never been um, going to a university in my life. My highest education is high school in 1988 when the um, revolution, student revolution started and we were the one who dare say no to the government. So as a punishment, no more school for four years from kindergarten to universities. Um, so nothing to study nothing to learn and even before that was trained like a, a good parrot to repeat everything daily so coming from uh, not knowing what you want and what you think or what you want to plan to nowadays like you have so many choices and you have to choose you have right to choose it's very challenging but for me that you not being able to study after high school was very tough. However, I think that um, when you are in surviving mood, uh, there are some kind of skill coming out or something like this. Is you got to learn with what you see, what you have, and get grab any kind of opportunities and get things done. And there are moments like also starving, like when I my father was in jail after elected, like many of the NLD member and then not knowing the where he was because either he's alive or dead no one knows in the country nor my family and uh, that stuck in Bangkok to apply a visa for Switzerland at that time because some of my father's friends went to help me with some study in Europe and there I got sixty dollars in my pocket and have to survive a week because some of my father's friends who wants to help me happened not to be there and starving that time um, again gave me now a day of liking anything I eat. So without those challenges, I won't become who I am, I think. And um, those are small samples that I set uh, to, to my team. And I think um, I just want to treat people like I wanted to be treated. And uh, when I was doing this vocational school is to aim for uh, people who drop off of high school from 70 to 24 years old. And because I've been through that, so I think it is very important in life that just treat people like you, have, you want to be treated. Yeah, that's the same thing that I kept saying. And um, I think there are also moments like um, in business, I have been through to many things very successful and then very weak one moment in 2007-2008 when um, Saffron Revolution started and the cyclone Nagis hit Burma and no more tourists coming in and I got a, seven hotels to run with more than 600 staff and how do you deal, how do you keep all these people, I can't just kick out people because we have um, no more business coming in. So uh, the only solution is to be truthful and just open your account and say that, hey, guys, these are the money that we had in the account. This is things that we need to pay. This, uh, this is uh, uh, people that we own. These are people who own us, and that's our money. How do we deal with that? And that was being humble and or, or simple and very uh, transparent 
that it gave me um, a very a strong team at the end of the day because in those difficult moments, I never want to let down anyone, and they know that. I will risk only money, but nothing, nothing else. Because money, we can always find back, but not the, how do you say that, um, to, 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 to not to give up your team is so important. So these are small things. I don't think it's very um, uh, particular. Again, uh, you know, many people uh, in this room has been through these things probably. But what I learned in this journey is also when you are independent emotionally, intellectually, and financially, um, you can deliver best of yourself. And that's what I try to delegate and empower to my people is that be, um, promote independency of people and at their dignity level.